Morning. Morning. Okay, it's £5 police and parking. Lovely. Okay, thanks so much. Good, Good morning everybody and welcome to Built Not Bought Campers. As you see, we've just arrived in the car park in Telford at Camper Mart. And it's basically a V-dub event. I mean, look at this. There's four there, got one just there, one there, one there. There's loads of V-dubs all around me, so I feel a little bit out of place at the moment. Because I'm not driving a V-dub. I mean, there's all sorts here today. And I'm looking forward to this event, I really am. Right, so we're now inside the centre. I've just picked up my wristband. And now I'm just about to go into the actual exhibition hall itself. I don't know how much of this you can hear because there is a lot of music in the background. I will try and edit that bit out because it is quite loud. But 
the place is buzzing already and the doors have literally just opened um, cars are rolling in we sat in a queue for quite a while but anyway just gonna grab a coffee then I'm gonna go in anyway I'll see you when we're inside everybody right I'm here with Wayne or he likes to be known as Wano and I'll show you something really really cool on the front of his fire pit he's even got his name we love all this stuff built not bought that's what it's all about right so I'm gonna pass you over to Wayne he's gonna explain a little bit about the van tell us about the amazing paintwork inside and out and a little bit about how you actually started and what you actually possess you to go as far as you have with the van? Um, I started off, bought the van, one owner, full service history, thought I'm going to paint it up nice, took the wings off, changed my mind, now it's bare metal, glows in the dark, all the interiors glows in the dark, it's on hydros, um, I don't know what else to really say about it to be honest. Uh, it's amazing. There's it, it's no words to describe this van. Absolutely amazing. So how long did the actual total Six build? weeks. Fully built in six weeks. Six weeks? Paint as well? Yep. Two weeks to grind it down. And the other four weeks then, building bits and bobs. Oh my God, six weeks. God, and I had somebody moan at me to do my camper in 84 days. You know you are, Darren but I did have a hernia operation in that time, so never mind. But six weeks, that is amazing. I'll tell you, it's a shame it's not dark so we can actually see it glow, it would be amazing. But you've done a cracking job. You've yeah. done a cracking job, well done. Right, so that's it from me and that's it from Wayne. And we're gonna crack on with the rest of the show.
Okay, so this is the main area and the main hall. As you saw on the video, just giving you a quick tour around of what was going on. I'm waiting to speak to somebody over there. From theftstop.co.uk. Oh my God. Do you know what? I can't even speak today. Do you realize how many takes that has taken for me to do? It's like blah, 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 blah. Never mind. But I'm gonna go over there, see if I can distract him. His name's Gerald and he fixed and installs 
a security system to vehicles, which is quite unique in itself. Let's see if we can pinch him for a minute. Here we go, he's there. Hello, Daryl. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? You're right. This is Daryl. Hi, everyone. Um, from theftstop.co.uk. Yes. Now, the security system, I'll I'm not going to say too much. I'll let him tell you what it's all about. All right. Yeah. Mechanical immobilizer from Berlock, from Europe, from Poland. The manufacturer is based in Poland. They exist on the market for 30 years. And the only reason they never came to England because we are right hand drive. Yes? <laughs> so we took a challenge with Bell Lock to adjust every single lock for UK people, for people in UK. That's why we started with campers because they, they're really nice vehicles to secure and we've covered all, all campers for and let's Volkswagen. Face it, everybody's nicking campers at the moment. <laughs> so you don't want to lose yes. your camper van. You want to secure it as much as possible. And I've been looking at this and I saw another video on YouTube and it, it, you know, it struck me as a real good piece of kit. It is. Well, obviously, I will always say it is good, a good kit, but it's a... He's it's, the ambassador for it. It's a it's mechanical gonna... solution. It's really, really hard to bypass. Even if you know exactly what to do, it requires a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of heavy tools. It's not something that you can just unplug. It's permanently fitted hardened steel five millimeter hardened steel fit in it's heavy duty item guys it's not see easy. this is the thing with all the electronic solutions around today whether you've got your immobilizers your central locking you've got your alarms you've got people out there standing a few hundred feet away with the little machine be able to take the codes yes there's no code for this no it's only cnc technology key which only us can get it cut it for you so this right. patented, so if you want more than three keys, which we supply three of them, if you want more, you need to come to us with the sequence of numbers from this card. And that's how Ideal. we supply keys. That's yeah. amazing. So, and, so, and just and so you all know, sorry, <laughs> I know it looks bulky, but all you see is the key barrel in your van. If you were, I know this is not a great light, but if you want to show inside what the key barrel Let looks like. Let me just show you in here. Yes. So you won't see much of that. You'll only see a key. So there you go there. That's, oh, we've even got a light, look at that. So there you go, that's the only bit you will see in your vehicle. One key and the lock itself. Right, so as a good measure to stop a vehicle being stolen, I think you can put as much electronics as you like in a vehicle, but that is like mechanical and just another aid. Then you could fit loads. At the end of the day, I always, I always say, the more you fit, the, you yeah. know the more deterrent you've got and there is a practical reason for that let me just put this away not every thief is the same same as not every vehicle is the same you've got opportunists and you've got specialists which will come for your van yeah and let's be honest stole to order <laughs> yes yeah, stole to order when you target it to stole to order you can have millions of different types of security they're going to take it, it. it's very likely they're going to take it but from one to nine, from opportunities to really good thieves, this will stop them because they will never come with the angle grinder and heavy tools because it's something that is not practical. No, and, they and you're going to hear them. And exactly. And if you start cutting this into pieces, then it's not drivable anyway because to actually cut our device, you need to not you need to get into the console, break it all, and then who wants to stole the van that is not sellable? No, it's not. So, it's all about layers of security the more layers like you really well said the more layers you add on disc lock trackers alarm pedal locks. it's all good yeah. pedal locks yeah we, we don't discredit any of these solutions the more you put on it's, it's, an addition. it's always an yeah. addition it's a defense yeah. it's a defense yeah. you, you just, and a deterrent deterrent yes so yeah so that is it so that's Gerald, and i'll i'll show you up there show you on the on the front of his Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and this product because it's one of those products, I don't come across many which I think give me that sort of wow factor. This definitely has given me that. It definitely has given me the wow factor because it's one of those solutions to a problem. I think it's a big problem with campers at the moment and the amount of 
Facebook posts that I see where people are having camper vans stolen. And you know, it guts me because I build them, and even my own, my current van, as I've said before, I'm struggling to sell it. I know it's got to go because the new one's taking its place, but you put a certain amount of love into these vehicles and you spend a lot of time because they are your home away from home. And to fit something like this, it's either pay the money to fit something like this, which is minimal to the cost of the sentiment and emotion that goes into these vehicles that you love and use every year on your holidays. So, Gerald, thanks ever so much for explaining it. Yeah. Um, what it does. Um, his details will be below, and any other questions, speak to me. I'll even put you on to him. I'll give him your details. Get it fitted. That's all I'm going to say. Get one fitted because I'll tell you something. My new van's going to have one fitted, and he's going to be the one fitting it. Definitely. And we can make a video of that as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a video. We put a video on yeah. everything. <laughs> We're here. All right. Okay then. I'll be back to you shortly.
Right, as you will see, just behind me, just over there, is a van that was at the International Camper Van Show. And yep, I spotted it here. So, it's gonna have a little sneak peek in the back of this one, around the side. So wandering around here, look who I bump into. Good old Dave. Hey, hey, the International Couple Man Show. Of all the people. Someone was poking me in the back and I'm thinking, who was this? And this, this fella. The time to worry is when my missus is poking you in the back. Can I run? No, it's alright. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking.
Right, so there you go. That's Camper Mart. It's busier than I expected. Bearing in mind, we're just in the car park now, and none of these are display vehicles, none of them are actually anything to do with the event. Just general people coming to the event. Loads and loads and loads of E-dubs. And um, we've got one just about to nearly run me over now. So there's absolutely loads of them. It's been a great day, very productive. And all oh, people we bumped into Damo from the International Camp Van Show. What's the chances of that? Quite high since he loves his V-dubs. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for now. I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying really happy. Bye for now.